Welcome to the Droid Guy channel. This video demonstrates the initial setup process of the new Apple iPhone SE 2020 handset. Setting up a new iPhone is an exhilarating experience. To Apple flag waivers, the initial setup process is definitely a no-brainer. However, this can be a bit of a challenge especially to those who have just migrated to iOS. This demo is therefore aimed at helping the latter audience obtain a seamless first iOS experience. To get started, turn on your iPhone by pressing the power key on the upper right side of the device, and then release when the Apple logo shows up on the display. The phone will then instigate the normal startup process. When finished booting up, you will be greeted with a hello screen. While on the hello screen, press the home button to proceed. A new screen opens with a list of different languages. Tap to select your preferred language. You may need to scroll down to locate your language from the list. The next screen opens prompting you to select your country or region. Locate and then tap your country. The quick start screen will open next. Read and review the quick start information, then tap set up manually at the bottom section. The written and spoken language window opens. Tap continue, a new screen will launch with a list of available Wi-Fi networks. Tap to select the Wi-Fi network that you'd like to use or connect to. Then enter the Wi-Fi password on the next screen. Be sure to enter the correct password to ensure that you'll be able to connect to the network successfully. After typing the password, tap join your device will then attempt to connect to the network using the network credentials you've provided. The selected network will then be marked with a check right before the SSID or network names. Tap next on the upper right corner to proceed. Wait for the next screen to load up completely. The loading process could take several seconds or minutes to finish. When it's finished loading, the data and privacy screen opens read and review the information, then tap continue. On the next screen, you will be prompted to set up your Touch ID. You may opt to continue or set up Touch ID later. Let's just go for the latter option to proceed with this demo. You can set up the Touch ID at a later time using the iPhone settings menu. Just tap Don't Use from the pop-up question to skip the Touch ID setup. On the next screen, enter a 6-digit passcode to protect and unlock your device. Be sure to take note of your passcode for backup purposes, just in case you forget it later. Then enter the same passcode again to confirm. If the entry is matched, you will be routed to the apps and data menu. Otherwise, you'll be prompted to re-enter the correct passcode. On the apps and data menu, choose how you want to transfer apps and data to your new iPhone. To proceed with this demo, let's go for the last option that's don't transfer apps and data since we'll be setting up the new iPhone from scratch or is new. The Apple ID screen will show up next. And here, you will be asked to enter your Apple ID. The Apple ID is typically the email address that you use to set up your Apple account. If you haven't set up one yet, then you need to create a new Apple ID. It's a requisite to use iCloud and other Apple services on your device. Just type your Apple ID into the Apple ID text field, then tap Next to continue. Enter your Apple ID password on the next screen, then tap Next to confirm. If prompted, enter the Apple ID verification code that's sent to your other Apple devices or preferred phone number. Your device will then process your account credentials then prompts the terms and conditions if all entries are correct. Read and review the terms, and then tap Agree to proceed. Your device will process your new inputs. When finished, you'll be routed to the Express settings. Tap Continue to proceed. Read the information regarding iPhone updates, then tap Continue. On the iCloud keychain, tap Continue if you'd like to set up and use keychain immediately. Otherwise, tap Don't use iCloud keychain. On the screen time, choose the option to set up later in settings. Doing so will let you skip the screen time setup. On the App Analytics display, tap to select your preferred option. Then tap Continue on the True Tone display after reading the Features Overview. On the next screen, tap to mark your preferred screen appearance. You can choose between Light and Dark Mode. After making a selection, tap Continue. Choose your preferred Home button haptic. Then tap Continue. Do the same on the Display Zoom screen. When prompted with the Welcome to iPhone screen, tap the Get Started button. Doing so will let you access your iPhone's home screen that's populated with various app icons and shortcut controls. Your iPhone is now ready for first-time use. You can now go ahead and explore the rest of the features of your new iPhone SE 2020.
And that's it. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.